it was about time that I got round to watching Citizen Kane. Obviously, it's a film that's well-received, well-loved, and I just kept putting it off because I thought, what if I don't like it? What if it's not what I expected? Thankfully, I needn't have worried. I did really enjoy this film, but I will say, for me personally, it's never going to be my favourite film. It's not one that I think is the best film ever made. I know in terms of accolade, it's done very well. I think if this were released today, it probably would have a lot more criticism. But certainly in terms of a piece of art, it's brilliant. It's a joy to watch. And I just wish I'd watched it sooner. It was released in 1941, directed, of course, by Orson Welles, um, with a screenplay by Mankiewicz. And... I think it was the the recent film Mank that kind of pushed me to finally watch this. I'm also reading a book called Easy Riders um, Raging Bulls, which looks at Hollywood around this time. And I just thought, let's go for it. And it's not what I expected, but it is good. Basically, it's about this character called Charles, called Charles Foster Kane. And he is in charge of publishing various newspapers and is at the top of his game and very wealthy. But the narrative is really fascinating. So I won't give any spoilers in this, but at the beginning of the film, he is dead. Well, he dies at the beginning of the film. He utters one word, Rosebud. And the film is all about trying to work out what this name, Rosebud, means. And it's done through interviews with people from his life. And it's not all interviews, um, that mostly it's told through flashbacks and then it's interjected with people explaining things, um, important people in his life, explaining what was happening in those scenes, trying to work out what this rosebud means. And for me personally, I sometimes forgot we were trying to establish what rosebud was, but for it was mainly just an interesting character study of Cain because he is really interesting. Sometimes I really liked his attitude and I liked his personality and sometimes I thought, you are... I wouldn't want to meet you in person. He is an amalgamation of several real people. Definitely worth having a look on IMDb um, or anywhere on the internet, I guess, to, to learn more about that and the people he is based on. The mention of Citizen Kane was actually banned in the newspaper that's led by one of the people on whom this is based. So although it was well received, um, certainly there were some people who were not best pleased with uh, the creation of the character of Charles Foster Kane. From a, a cinematic perspective, it's beautiful. Uh, it's really well shot, really well directed. The soundtrack is gorgeous. You know, the transitions are beautiful. Really, it is a very beautiful, creative film. And I can see why it was very successful at the time as well as, as now. It did um, win the Best Writing best writing Screenplay Oscar. Um, it was nominated for Best Picture, Best Actor in a Leading Role for Orson Welles, Best Director, Cinematography, Art Direction, Sound, Film Editing and Music. Um, so a lot of nominations there and I completely understand well why that is. I do think that it lived up to the hype. Maybe not what I was expecting, maybe not in the way I was expecting, but I enjoyed it. Orson Welles was brilliant. The one thing I will say, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but Rosebud, when we eventually find out what Rosebud means, I felt like it was slightly anticlimactic. I can understand why they did it, and I understand what it means, and technically the importance of it, but I was just looking for something a bit more grittier or a bit more poignant than what it was. But because, as I said, I was kind of only half enjoying it for that aspect and actually half, mostly enjoying it actually for Kane as a character, I wasn't that let down. But for me personally, I just think they could have done something a little bit more powerful. Maybe they could have still done that, but made it more important as well at an earlier point and that doesn't really make much sense unless you've seen the film but personally I just think it could have been done differently or with a slightly different focus. Nevertheless Citizen Kane glad I finally watched it completely understand why it's well loved it's the 96th top rated movie on IMDb which is 
not surprising. Definitely worth looking at if you're interested in cinema from the 40s or the late 30s when this was being made. Um, I thoroughly recommend it. If you haven't seen it and you like films, definitely one to look out for.